Alright, hello guys. Um, don't mind my bird, but anyways. Nah, you so cute though. Anyways, this is the. This is just gonna be one update on the new Cory. And it's a expandable design. So I'm first gonna discuss some things I've. Well, I'm gonna have to thank someone first. So I was on a Redstone Jazz video, looking at his old Cory tech. And then I saw a comment by Pengu, and he basically put an image or picture of a instant, it's like an instant extension. I took that design, I redesigned it for my own use. So now this is an instant extension that basically goes in one direction, which is excellent for this part. It's ultra compact, I'm just kidding, it's just compact in general. And it's simple, this is actually how it keeps going. You just um, set it up like this. And the good thing is the piece always moves all together, no matter where it is. Um, make sure you put that there. Alright, anyways, if I remove that, see, it pushes it forward, does it again. And as you can see, the back side there is instant. They're always, well, they're basically put together, which is excellent for syncing up things instead of having this weird wave pattern that will slow you down. Also, my machine here is quite small. Um, this part right here is actually the, del this is the actual like mechanism for delays and stuff, and it's very small. The redstone wire serves the same purpose. It's going to advance it forward. I tested it, and it does advance forward. I guess I could show you that, like, yeah, nothing bad will happen. Um, the only, oh, actually not yet, not yet. I'm going to show you some cool features. Um, so here's a detector. When the flying machines come in, it'll basically send a delay. So when they leave, it goes down, picks up more blocks. And I can actually turn that feature on and off so the machine can not pick up blocks. And the way I do it is with this little mechanism down here. I'm not done with the I'm not done with this part yet, but I'm just gonna show you how it works. If I were to switch this, it pulls the block, which means it can't update the observer. So what you're about to see is basically it um not having it send back down, which is what you need for the wire right here because it will allow it not to break. Man, this is very confusing, but uh, right here. Okay, I used the, just some instant, instant wire, and it has visual glitches, but they actually all sync up perfectly. Yeah, my frames. Um, when I'm reco not recording, I just get 40 frames. I've got a, this is an old ThinkPad computer laptop thing, but it does a trick. I'm in the end dimension this time because there's less sky updates from what I can tell. And also this is this is an ideal quarry for me, only for the end. I mean there are ways to use it in other dimensions, but I oh yeah, see it didn't send these machines back. So then I could demonstrate. I'm also gonna demonstrate this is this is not actually a reset station. What this does is it actually does all the block mining for us, so because here's the thing, the machine already has the detector built into it. You don't have to push back the blocks every once in a while. Um, so this is just a simple TNT area. I did some testing, and the rates are good. You get about five stacks of items per blow up. And it, oh, whoa, what happened there? Ah, no, it just self-returned, I see. So once it's docked here, I'm going to have it. Turn on, oh yeah, it also has a counter. It counts the layer, so when it hits the bottom layer, it switches so that it doesn't send the machine down, which is quite nice. <clears throat> so let's just um, go over the next thing. This part actually picks up the blocks and puts them away for me, so if I just do that, it'll go here, I believe. Yep, and push up, and yeah. It'll also have a counter here, which counts four blocks. So once it goes up four, it shoves it over, 
and then every four blocks it sends out one signal here which counts for this guy this is the TNT dispensary with the instant wire now I have some ideas that I want to use for a movable block breaking chamber and I'm gonna probably design a movable wither cage because TNT duplicating is going to disappear right but we've got good observer block technology. We can build movable wither cages. And we won't need wiring for it as well. We can use slime logic. Yeah, maybe my next video after this machine is complete is me trying to design a wither cage that moves along. And another function it needs is to also have it break the blocks just right. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of work into that. Alright, anyways, we're just going to go ahead and trigger this. It's very precise. So here we go. It first starts with the front, pulls back. Um, it will send the machines down. And it's basically already moved forward, I can assure you. As you can see, here's the previous layer. Here's a new layer. Obviously, the previous layer will be fully gone. But this new layer will be um, start to harvest. Yeah, that, it's a pretty quick, um, it's pretty quick at what it does. This was probably the most tricky part for me to figure out. Because if this redstone block collides with this, the whole machine breaks. Oh yeah, also I made this part smaller. What this does is it prevents the flying machines from going away. Um, the, I saw a video of Ita where he showed how to build self-returning. They're like self-returning flying machines. But I've just designed it again for this use. Like, it's one wide only. It's quite nice. Well, one wide in this term, but as for this, it's not so much. Okay, so I also have terracotta here. It works well with the one wide design because um, the slime slips past it. And the purpose of this is to move these forward, the, this bottom section forward. And to also prevent my grabbers there from overshooting it pretty much as you see as it was empty it picked up new blocks so then when the um, when they the, all have another counter for this so it'll count that and then send them off it'll repeat the cycle yeah but this is just going to be a simple ideal farm this will probably be replaced with some movable wither cage hopefully if I can come up with an idea Alright, anyways, I guess before I go, we're, I'm going to go ahead and sh just show you a little bit of fun here. So just go to the wooden axe, and I'll just basically fill this in with, what, end stone? Um, so, 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 set, end, underscore stone. There we go. And I also have to do some timer stuff really quick. One second. I basically just have to prep it up if it were like, well, if it were ready, obviously. So I just do that, and TNT goes down. Blocks push in. Obviously, it'll be more full, I assure you. And then it basically goes into a water stream, and then the water stream takes all the blocks. Yeah, basically, the back wall there will push three times before another TNT blows up, but I... Just sped it up a bit. Anyways, yeah, the water stream carries them out, and you get tons upon tons of end stone. Like, this machine's good enough for me. I could probably build larger complex designs, but I was trying to make something that was, like, um, I'm, I've basically been trying to make something that was resource-friendly for survival. So I've, hopefully I've gotten to that point. I'd probably build this machine half of the size if I were barely starting out and I wanted end stone. But if I had a high efficiency slime farm, I'd probably double the size of what it is now. Alright, well, I think that's enough chatting. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good one. So I'll see you when I hopefully get the logic uh, configured and that's it. Okay, bye.